I like to draw diagrams for my experimental designs. So we're gonna start with the 2800 coffee trees, and then we're gonna use random assignment to divide those trees into three groups. Now, unfortunately, it's not divisible by three. So we're gonna have one group of 933 trees, another of 933 trees, and our final group will have 934 trees. We're gonna give group one fertilizer one, group two fertilizer two, and group three fertilizer three. And then after some time, we're gonna compare the three groups of coffee trees. Now the problem we're gonna have is the different growing conditions could potentially confound with the different fertilizers. It might be difficult to detect what the fertilizers are doing if there's so much variation being caused by these different growing conditions. So by blocking, the variation caused by the different growing conditions can be controlled and the effects of the fertilizers can be detected with more precision. So let's draw a diagram to describe our randomized block design. We're gonna start with our 2800 trees and we're gonna divide them into our 600 upper terrace, 1000 middle terrace, and 1200 lower terrace trees. Now this time we're not using random assignment. We're actually dividing it based on the characteristic of where it's growing. These are our blocks. Now for each of our blocks, we're gonna use random assignment to split the trees into three groups of close to equal sizes if possible. 1,000 isn't divisible by three, so one of our groups has an extra tree in it. Now for each block, assign one of the fertilizers to each of the three groups of trees. And finally, for each block, compare the effects of the different fertilizers on the coffee trees. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.